Sean Dykes has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's game against Crystal Palace at Goodison Park on Saturday. The Everton manager was asked about the Freaking Group takeover, which was announced on Monday. This is what Sean Dykes had to say. Well, the reaction is obviously one that there's a long way to go, I think, or from what I gather of the previous situations, there's a long way to go to get everything to a final point. Um, but the early signs look favourable. Um, in the situation, so we'll have to wait and see, but it certainly looks like a, a stronger situation than past. Off the back of that, the uh, the Blues boss was asked whether or not he thought the news and the uh, the possible completion of this takeover would bring some positivity, feel good fact, the two Goodison Park on Saturday against Crystal Palace, and this is what the Blues boss had to say about that. Uh, well, positivity this time is slightly different. You know, I think the positivity from last season was due to the team performing. And the positivity this week, uh, positivity, sorry, was, is more maybe that feeling of what's going to change, what what could change, what ifs and what ands and all the rest of it. But, you know, inside the stadium, it's our job to bring that. Certainly my job with the players to go and deliver a performance that can enhance on positivity. The fans have always been there for us. It's about giving them something to work with and uh, to go on. And I've said that ever since I walked in the building. Um, so that'll be the main thought from us is on the pitch stuff you know the off the pitch stuff it'll play its part of course and you guys will write different stuff and say different things than what you put previously that's just the nature of what it is um, but it's on the pitch stuff we need to stay focused on there you go and i mean it's really good news isn't it we obviously need the the certainty uh this ownership situation has been bouncing around for almost two years now it was first mentioned that farad machiri was looking for investments two years have gone by since then and hopefully this is all coming to a conclusion now and we can uh, begin a new era. Uh, on to the game at the weekend, obviously one of the big questions is what the squad is looking like, Evan have had players out with injuries this season so far, the manager gave us an update ahead of the team news on Saturday. Certainly certainly, uh, Jared's in front of the curve compared to Pato, Pato's had a much longer period out and quite a serious injury, he's doing very well at the moment but that's a longer recovery period uh, Gano unfortunately lost his father, so he was away, uh, but he was in Senegal, so he's had you know, quite a period, you know, seven days without training, so only just back in. Miko's uh, well again, so that's good. Um, so there's certainly more a picture of, of what it is. Seamus is a bit longer, Broger's a bit longer. Um, who am I missing? There's one more. Uh, oh, uh, Youssef. Youssef is a bit longer as well. So, you know, but we are beginning to look a little bit more rounded as a squad, comp- particularly compared to um, as, as little as uh, 10 days ago. Well, it's good news there. Looks like Jared Branthway will be back in contention. We'll probably start the game. Also good to have Adrisha Garner Gay available again and hopefully not too much longer till Nathan Patterson is involved as well. Uh, some transfer news today, or transfer speculation, I should say. Everton apparently interested in Sao Paulo striker Enrique Carmo. Very, very highly rated in Brazil. He's 17 years of age. He's one of the club's great prospects. He has a contract with the Brazilian side until December 2025 but can sign a pre-contract in the summer if they can't uh, get him to re-sign. Everton apparently very interested in him. I've watched him on a number of occasions. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain also monitoring him as well as the Blues do look to try and dip the toe into the South American market. And finally, Everton in the community has joined forces today with the newly founded Kevin Campbell Foundation. Uh, Also joining up with the Kevin Campbell Foundation is the Arsenal Foundation. Uh, and they are going to join forces together to support young people in both the Liverpool area and North London. Obviously, Campbell played a big role in both of those clubs. Supporters from both of those clubs loved Kevin Campbell, who sadly passed away in the summer. If you want to find out more and possibly donate to the Kevin Campbell Foundation, you can do at kevincampbellfoundation.com. If you want to go on the socials and follow the Kevin Campbell Foundation on Instagram, it is instagram.com forward slash Kevin Campbell Foundation. And on X, it's x.com forward slash KJC Foundation. So uh, go and give them a follow on social media. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.